This is Stomp, the Bluetooth page turner and app controller from Coda Music Technologies. It's the most reliable, floor-based, hands-free performance solution available. To get started, you'll need to install a standard 9-volt battery or use a separate 9-volt DC power supply. To install the battery, simply turn the pedal over and remove the screws securing the cover plate. Then, insert the battery and screw the cover plate back on. Turn the pedal on by pressing the power button in the top right corner. Next, you'll need to pair the pedal with your host device. To do this, open your device's Bluetooth menu, turn on Bluetooth, and select Coda Music Tech. Once the LED status indicator stops flashing and remains solid blue, your stomp pedal is paired and ready to go. To get started, open an app and select the appropriate mode on your stomp pedal. There are four different modes and each one sends a different command to your device. Press the center button to cycle through the modes. A small blue LED will indicate which mode is selected. These are the specific functions of each mode. Different apps will use different modes, so make sure to try them all out to determine which to use for your favorite app. Additionally, some apps have internal settings that need to be configured to allow Stomp to work with it. If this is the case, check the app's manual or website for more information. If you're not sure whether Stomp will work with a certain app, you can find a list of popular apps that Stomp is compatible with on our website at codamusictech.com forward slash apps. In the top left corner, you'll find a button labeled with an infinity sign. Press this to activate Stomp's repeat function, which allows the pedal to send continuous commands to your device by pressing and holding a foot switch. For example, in mode 1 with the repeat function activated, pressing and holding the right foot switch will quickly and continuously scroll through pages all with one motion. To scroll through multiple pages without the repeat function activated, you would need to press the foot switch multiple times. Stomp operates as a keyboard within your device, which means that your device might not automatically activate its built-in keyboard while it's connected. If you need to use your device's keyboard, simply press both foot switches simultaneously to activate Stomp's virtual keyboard function. The status indicator LED will flash rapidly to signal that the pedal has been temporarily disconnected. To reconnect it and deactivate the virtual keyboard function, simply press both foot switches simultaneously again. Stomp also comes equipped with a USB port, which allows you to provide power to your device and keep it charged. To do this, simply plug your device into the USB port as you would to charge it normally. It's important to note that this function does not work when Stomp is running on battery power. It only works when connected to a 1500 mA 9-volt DC power supply, which you can buy on our website at codamusictech.com. And that's about all there is to it. Simple in design, but complex in capability. If you have any further questions about Stomp, please refer to the included manual or visit codamusictech.com forward slash support.